So you, uh, chapter six in your textbook uh, covers microbial nutrition. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that comes under microbial nutrition that we're gonna have to consider. First being the nutrients that those bacteria are going to use. And in terms of those macronutrients, we've got six common elements that the majority of bacteria need in order to function. So we've got carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, oops, I'm going to write sideways, phosphorus, and sulfur. Those are the most common macronutrients, meaning the bacteria need them in large quantities. Micronutrients are also part of the bacteria's, bacteria's metabolic needs. Just like in people, we have trace elements that we need to get as part of our diet, like iodine, because iodine is what helps make our thyroid hormone. Their bacteria also have some specific micronutrients that they need as part of their metabolism in order to grow and to divide. The micronutrients, I'm not so concerned that you know all the different types of micronutrients. I do want you to know the main macronutrients though, okay? And in terms of that, when we're talking about microbial nutrition, um, we're talking about what elements the bacteria need in order to function, all right? And in a previous video, I talked to you about autotrophs. Oops, that's an O. I promise, that's an O. We've got our autotrophs, all right? These are considered self-feeders, okay? They aren't required they, aren't, they don't require another organism in order to survive, all right? So our autotrophs use atmospheric carbon dioxide as their carbon source, okay? And in terms of that, because they use carbon dioxide, they aren't dependent on other organisms. The chemotrophs, are the ones that are going to require something organic, all right? And most often when we were talking about um, cellular respiration and generating ATP, typically that substance, that organic substance that's needed is gonna be sugar, okay? There's one other classification that we've got between the autotrophs and the chemotrophs that I didn't mention because I didn't want to complicate things, but now I'm going to complicate things just a little bit though, are going to be the lithotrophs, okay? And in terms of that, lithotrophs are going to use an inorganic substance as part of their metabolism. Sulfur commonly is one, nitrogen can also be used, um, but the lithotroph uses some inorganic substance, doesn't have carbon associated with it, okay? Autotrophs and chemotrophs both require carbon. The lithotrophs don't, okay? That's the main distinction between them, all right? So in terms of that microbial nutrition, that's kind of a brief introduction the next videos, I'm gonna kinda of talk more about environmental factors that are going to influence how bacteria grow. So we're gonna talk about growth of bacteria. So hang 